Today's video is about how to solve for a variable in multiple variables. For number one, the surface area of a cuboid is this, where L, W, H are length, width, and height of a cuboid separately. Solve for H. First of all, you need to separate this variable h on one side. So you need to check in this formula where is h. I can find here and here. So you need to put these two expressions on one side. So I need to move 2LW to the left side. I will change the sign so that I can get the S minus 2LW equals 2WH plus 2HL. We know this is a linear equation because the variable H is uh, to the first power. It's not the h square. It's not the h to the third power. It's h to the first power. For linear equations, next step, you will do the factoring. h will be used as a common factor. So I will get the h parentheses 2w plus 2L. On the left side, we got the S minus 2LW. We want to isolate this H on the right side of this equation. So we need to divide it by 2W plus 2L, both sides. Reduce, you will get the H equals S minus 2LW over 2W plus 2L. Let's go to second question. Find the Fahrenheit F from this uh, formula. Still, you need to isolate this F on one side. Therefore, we will get rid of this uh, 5 over 9 by multiply by 9 over 5 on both sides. So I got the 9 over 5 here, multiplication. 9 over 5. Reduce, you will get 1. So on the right side, I have F minus 32. On the left side, I have a 9 over 5C. If I want to solve for this F, you need to add 32 both sides. So I will get the 9 over 5c plus 32 equals f. Let's go to number 3. A hemisphere V is given by this uh, formula, where S is the total surface area. Solve for S. In your mind, you need to think how to isolate this uh, S uh, on one side. First of all, since we have uh, this uh, square root, so square both sides so that we can get rid of this uh, square root. We will get the V square equals 4S third power over 2, 4, 
three pi. Then next step, you need to get rid of this uh, two, four, three, and a pi by multiply by two, four, three pi both sides. Get rid of this four by divided by four both sides. so that on the right side, you will reduce. You got uh, s to the third power on the right side. On the left side, I have uh, two, four, three pi, v squared over four. For this s to the third power, we will do cubic root both sides. So that on the right side, I got this s equals. On the left side, I have a cubic root of a 2, 4, 3 pi v squared over 4. This will be the formula for this uh, S. Let's go to number 4. The equation for the force of uh, gravity is this. So for R. Since this r square is a denominator, first of all, we will multiply by r square both sides. So on the right side of equation, we only have g m1, m2 left. On the left side of equation, we have r square f. We need to isolate this uh, r square on the left side. So we divide it by f both sides. Reduce, you will get the r square equals g m1 m2 over f. How to figure out this r? We will do square root both sides. So we get the answer r equals square root g m1 m2 over f. Let's uh, go to number five. The period of a mass m on a spring of spring constant k can be calculated as this formula. Solve for m. We have this uh, t equals 2 pi square root m over k. First of all, since we are solving for this m, you try to isolate this m on one side of an uh, equation. You need to get rid of this uh, 2 pi by dividing 2 pi both sides. So you get the t over 2 pi equals square root m over k. Next step, try to get rid of this uh, square root by square both sides. On the left side, I will get the t square over 4 pi square equals m over k. Then I try to get rid of this k by multiply by k both sides. Therefore, I will get the t square k over 4 
pi squared equals m 